Welcome to Recently Logged, where we're talking about anime, so you don't have to. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that'd be pretty funny. Okay, but who doesn't want to talk about anime? I don't know. I talk about anime all the time. The kids are always talking about anime. Wait, Micah. no, I don't think the kids are talking. I think the, the, maybe the teens. <laughs> I think the teens are talking. I, I hope the kids aren't talking about anime. Yeah, shoot. Well, that depends on the anime. I know? mean, yeah. Like, like Mi- Miyazaki anime is usually clean. Is it? I think it's always clean. <laughs> I, I think know. it's I, I think it's always clean. I don't know. I haven't watched all this stuff. Mononoke doesn't look clean. Mononoke like, just has a little blood. Has a, little, a lot of blood. <laughs> okay, a lot of blood, but, but blood is fine. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, hello, guys. Hi. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. Well, it's been a little bit. Yeah. I guess. Has it? Yeah, I, it's yeah. been a while. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. Uh, sorry oh. about that, but uh, you know the world's just crazy enough that we can we can get away with it. <laughs> wow, you know what? Well, our nine listeners aren't going to care, but <laughs> no, I think I think I think our nine listeners decided to drop down to to five listeners because we hadn't done a foreign film yet. Yeah, because we. I don't know. Done. I don't know what our problem. Yeah, was. what the heck? Like Why we watch, we, do... we watch so much foreign media. Right? I'm surprised we hadn't done a foreign film on here yet. I spend almost all of my free time watching anime now. Did and, we not? <sighs> and we've never done even like a foreign film. Did we on not the do the farewell one time? Oh wait, yeah, but it was taken down. Right. So right. we have done one. It's on YouTube, or it got taken down on YouTube. But you guys can still watch it on. Or I guess listen to it on any podcast platform. I don't see it on here, though. What? Did I take it off? I think you might have. No, no, no. It's right here. Oh, there it is. Yay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. It's not our first one. Okay, but I didn't claim it to be. Okay. I Well, I thought it was. Okay. I just said anime, which this like, is our first anime. I honestly couldn't believe that I we hadn't done a foreign film yet because we watch a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, we do. Which, I mean... It's, you know, good for us. <laughs> <laughs> good for us. Well, anyway, we're talking about Howl's Moving Castle. Indeed we are. Uh, Why is this castle moving, Micah? Nobody can say. So he can, it's a narrative device, so he can run away from his problems. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> My analysis is too spot on, Micah. It's almost like it's a metaphor. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a metaphor or something. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I mean, let's get let's get right into it, and, and we're gonna go over some of them basic facts or something. Uh, so, How's Moving Castle is a 2004 movie. It's Ooh. PG. I thought I was gonna cough there. For 119 a minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it's directed by I really don't know how to say his Hayao first Miyazaki. name. It's Hayao. Okay, Hayao Miyazaki. It's written by Hayao Miyazaki, based on a novel by Diana w- Wayne Jones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I for for context, we have never read the novels. Yeah. I I didn't know, I didn't even know there were multiple novels. Honestly. Uh, if you're if you're listening to the dubbed version, which you shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> no, always watch it with subtitles. Uh, Christian Bale's in this, so that'll get all the film bros over all here. All the film bros are they are are they all coming to watch uh, Christian pull out another emo performance? Yeah, but then they accidentally forget to turn on the dubbed version and watch the subtitles and yes. win. What do you mean accidentally, Mike? <laughs> uh, it was nominated for an award. Um, it was. It got yeah. an Oscar nomination for best animated film. I'm. I'm glad it didn't win. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> didn't The Incredibles win that year? 2006? No, or no, 2000, 2004. 2004. Yeah. Yeah, probably. If that's when The Incredibles came out. Yeah, it is. Then yes, that's that's what won. <laughs> um, Good for it. <laughs> well, I was gonna check who did the score because I really like the score, but it's. I mean, it's taking forever. As as Ghibli scores go, Studio Ghibli, for those who don't know what we're talking about, is an animation studio in Japan that has done a lot of popular anime in America. Uh, and like they did popular. A, they anime. did a partner up w- thing with Disney and Pixar? Question mark. Just Pixar. Just Pixar, and they got a bunch of their films distributed and dubbed professionally uh, for America. Which is why Christian Bale is. In <laughs> Which the is dub. why Christian Bale is in the dub of this. <laughs> All right, it was it was music by Joe uh, 
Oh, why do why? <laughs> why? Not only am I bad at pronouncing normal names, like American, but names. now they're Japanese wow. names. Uh, hi, he, he, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his Yashi. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody like that. knows. Well, somebody just knows. go. Just go check if you're. Yeah, interested. just go. Just go look on IMDb <laughs> if you want to find out. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's the basic facts. Uh, it now really let's is. Let's go over our basic thoughts, <gasps> Ruby. Basic thoughts. What did you rate Howl's Moving Castle? I rated it a three and a half or seven out of ten. I feel like seven's a pretty decent score. I feel like seven's <laughs> a pretty decent score. <laughs> Did I give it the thumbs up, Micah? <laughs> yes. I feel like three and a half is when my endorsement rating starts coming in, uh, okay. you know? Like, because three, I'm like, yeah, it can be a little good, but I'm not necessarily, like, like it that much. But three and a half, I feel like I should probably be like, yeah. At least Karsten has taste. <laughs> Wait, what did Karsten rate this? Four and a half. Karsten Runquist? Yep. What was he thinking? <laughs> All right. Uh, I rated I rated Howl's Moving Castle. That's only one star off from what I rated it. I rated Howl's Moving Castle uh, four stars. Uh, it's one of my favorite Ghibli movies, uh, which, again, referring to <laughs> Studio, Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I really enjoy it. I really like the characters. It's very it's very slow, for sure. Oh, yes. Based, this is... be, be, it makes sense that it's based off of a book. Yeah, I was about to say, it, uh, it feels literally like a book <laughs> no it really does but you know i'm okay with that it's relaxing in my opinion who doesn't watch. who doesn't like books <laughs> it's a little, it was a little too relaxing for me to wake up at 6 30 <laughs> oh and watch it in, in the morning okay so i might have blacked out for like one scene <laughs> but i came back i was like okay i'm, I'm up i'm up yeah man Dang, bro. I, we I shouldn't have we should have struggled so this. hard to keep my eyes open micah was asleep for like a third of the movie no or i was something. asleep for um for um from when they got to the royal castle thingamabob okay with to what's her face yeah yeah to when um i think when sophie g- gets taken to the the field he's placed for field, the first field. time ah uh, yes the flower the secret garden Micah. yeah his secret garden howl's secret garden <laughs> <laughs> the sequel micah yeah exactly <laughs> um yeah so that was a pretty, that was a big chunk, but yeah. I was up really late last night. But uh, you had already seen it, like, and I've seen it like three times already. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. My basic thoughts are that it's good, <laughs> what? but but it's slow. Yeah, good but slow. What okay. about you, Remy? Um, I don't know. This is my least favorite Ghibli movie. Boo! But it's not bad. Like I don't Boo. dislike it. That's. <laughs> I just like Kiki's delivery Rebbe, service. Kiki's delivery service is a thing. How can you like? It? Oh my gosh! How can you like it? Oh more? my gosh! Kiki's delivery service okay, is great. So this this movie is boring. <laughs> Kiki's delivery service is like thirty times more boring. No, it's not. You need to, you, you need to stop. Like <laughs> you need to stop. You need to stop hating it and just endorse it. <laughs> it's is what needs to happen. No, it's boring. Okay, but it's, it's my, my least favorite Ghibli movie. <laughs> <laughs> then it, we're only like swapping one film for the other. That's all. Our opinions aren't even that far off of both of them. Oh no! And we rated them the same, opposite wise. Like wow. I rated four, Kiki's four Delivery and Service three and a half, and wow. you rated House Moving Castle three and a half. <laughs> all right. So yeah, it's my least favorite Ghibli movie, Boo. but um, I don't know. It's just not really my thing i don't get into many of the characters like they're endearing but how will Robbie... but i just don't really get invested in any of them very much um okay co- hold on but they are fun can, to watch uh, can i interrupt yes and talk about how disappointing uh <laughs> the fact that house fashion uh drops, drops off. after the beginning i know <laughs> like after he loses his hair color he just stops dressing as nice well what's the point of living if you can't be beautiful right <laughs> if you don't know that that's a line from the movie from Hal because Hal is a legend <laughs> wow <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i was just very disappointed that he went from like the very nice like cape thingy the, the cape thingy it was just a jacket yeah well he, okay <laughs> and like his cool shirt with like the necklace the necklace and was pretty cool. All of, <laughs> and all that. It was a really. It was an aesthetic. And then because his hair goes black, he's like, <laughs> just plain white shirt, plain black pants. Starts dressing like uh, what's his face from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Nobody does. Anybody know what I'm talking about? 
I don't know. Will T- Will Turner? Is yes, that his name? Will Turner is his name. Okay, I haven't seen those movies in forever. Love those movies. Okay, are you done interjecting? Like, <laughs> yes, I'm done interjecting. Okay. Uh, like I said, the characters are fun to watch, but I just don't really get uh, emotionally invested, even in Sophie's storyline. But more so, like I of all of them, I get more invested in Sophie. But and Calcifer's I feel like I feel like I should get more invested in Hal, you know, but I don't. I don't know. I get pretty invested. But in um, I don't know. It it feels once again like Micah said slow, but that's not necessarily a bad yeah, thing. No, slow does not um, inherently mean bad. I just wish a lot of the elements were a bit more fleshed out and or just interesting to me. I don't know. I get bored pretty easily watching this movie. And I feel like I shouldn't. I, the filmmaking's once I always like really solid from Miyazaki. Yeah, no, the He's direction, a great director. But <laughs> uh, Ghibli's movies, um, like, they're always so beautiful. Like, oh, I've yeah, watched, the animation, I didn't I've, even think to I've mention. I've watched <laughs> a lot of anime, and, like, anime can look good. Like, like, I'm watching... There like, are different styles. Like, yeah, there's a lot of different styles in anime. Like, Hunter x Hunter looks sweet a lot of the times, but, like, this, like, like Ghibli movies look like, mm. like, paintings, kind of, mm. like, they just look like, <laughs> so good. like, every, like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, but Ghibli movies are just beautiful. <laughs> I know. Okay, did I tell you about this? One of my friends said they hadn't seen Spirited Away. I literally went and downloaded all of the stills from TMTV and sent them all of them. They're like, <laughs> you have to see them. <laughs> Yeah, that that's how good looking one of one Ghibli's of, animation is. One of my friends hadn't seen uh, any Ghibli movie, but then but they have HBO Max, and now they've seen oh, more yeah. Ghibli movies than I have, <laughs> and I'm kind of mad. You. But don't worry, we're trying to get we're trying to schedule a Ghibli marathon. Yes, to watch like Princess yes. Mononoke and Castle in the Sky, and are you gonna like watch that. The Wind Rises, yeah. Poco Russo, Micah, yeah. Ponyo. No. <laughs> not Ponyo. <laughs> it's like, not Ponyo. I've watched Ponyo, Ponyo once, and I don't need to watch it again. <laughs> we watch all the Ghibli movies, except for that one. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking... Yeah, I was good. Anyway, all right, we well, were trying to plan that. Side note, yeah. But uh, yeah, the animation looks really good. But that's kind of a given with Ghibli. Yeah. Uh, so, questions, then? Questions! I just realized I didn't have um, this I was going to start it off with a little little light one, you know? Oh, a little white, a light, a light, a, 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 <laughs> a white one? A, a light question. Yes. Uh, I was going to ask, who is your who? favorite? Who? 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 <laughs> who is your favorite character? How? How? But, really? like, Turnipit. Okay, well, I take it. I take it back. Who? Or I'll ask. What is your favorite? Like, who has your favorite character design? Is what I'll, uh, that'll be my howl. <laughs> but like turnip head. Oh my gosh, <laughs> turnip head is one of the weirdest plot elements I love in this turnip head. entire thing. I love turnip head so much. Like I like turnip head, but the fact that he spoiler alert <laughs> for Howl's Moving Castle is the prince. And it's just totally unexplained just, that he just got a spell put on, like, just no like, no reason. No reason he just has a spell and is now in the middle of the wastelands as a scarecrow. <laughs> and I'm like, what? what? <laughs> what? But it's great. He's great. I mean, yeah, he is pretty great. <laughs> but yeah. But uh, it doesn't make any sense. But, but yeah. You, you, favorite Howl's, character Howl's character design is really cool. I like his character design. like especially Even his bird even his, his bird, bird, no, I think his bird, full bird, is. I always interesting. think he looks like a swift whenever he's flying. He does look like a swift. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so- full bird howl is interesting because I don't know. There's, I always felt something weird about like 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 it looks weird when he flies as a bird. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I mean, it's, maybe does- it's lack of tail feathers that makes him yeah. weird. Yeah. Uh. But anyway. Uh. Yeah. No. I think his character design is really cool. But then also, Turnip Head's character design is really cool. I really like Calcifer. <laughs> Calcifer's just a flame with a face. I know, but he's so cute, Mike. <laughs> he's so funny. Uh, so freaking do you, funny. Do you like him sitting there going nom nom nom, nom on nom, some eggshells? <laughs> so, I don't know what it is. <laughs> just the sound the sound he makes eating he's is like, for nom, some nom, reason nom, very nom, funny nom. to me, and I don't know why. This is very telling of what I like about cinema. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think Calcifer uh, is one of my favorite 
uh, just of any of the studio. What Jimmy about what about the what about the witch of the the waste of the witch the witch of the wastes or whatever? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't remember her name, but it's not that. No, it's the the witch of the wastes. The witch or of the whatever. wastes. The, yeah. You sure about that one, Chief? It's like the wicked witch of the <laughs> yeah, the witch of the wastes. That's literally wow. her name. I had no clue. Um, I don't know. I mean, her character design is cool and all, but <laughs> what about the stair scene? The stair scene. We're, we'll save that for later, but, <laughs> because that uh, is probably my favorite scene. But uh, oh, oh, wow, um, that's kind of sad, actually. I don't know, dude. Movie. Like, I, there aren't very many scenes. I anyway, like, uh, but yeah, um, maybe I don't know. I'd probably have to go with the Hal, of course. Cause yeah, he, is, he just has a really cool overall design. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of his character, what? Uh, he say, does have say, a, run that one <laughs> past me again. <laughs> gonna have to run that one past me. Again. <laughs> I love how. Okay. Anyway, he's just a lazy guy. No, he's like, <laughs> he's misunderstood. What's his lesson, Micah? What's his lesson? His lesson is to have a heart, Howl, because you're a jerk. Oh yeah. <laughs> the very not the not very subtle metaphor for having a heart. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Like the, st- the subtle symbolism of Hal's moving castle. <laughs> it's like, hmm. hmm. Hal doesn't have a heart. Yeah, I know he is. No, he doesn't have he a heart. He doesn't <laughs> have a heart. <laughs> Don't you see? Uh, anyway, uh, what's your favorite scene or sequence? Um, probably the scene at, um, like, I think it's a dream scene. Is it a dream? I don't remember Which if it's a dream. Scene? Um, when she's out in the field with all the demons, uh, falling from the sky. No, that's not a With dream. Hal as a child. No, that's a flashback. Yeah. I think, yeah. Is well, it, it's kind it? of a flat. I don't remember the intro into it because I didn't watch that. Um, oh, you didn't watch that part? I'm pretty sure it's a dream. No, I thought, I'm pretty sure it's a flashback. I thought it was like <laughs> Calcifer was showing her. Oh, was it? I don't I don't remember. That's what I th- that's what I wow. remember. We just watched the movie and we're like, Ugh. that's what I remember anyway. Okay. But yeah. Well, you you've seen it more than I have. You're probably right. But that that scene's pretty cool. I like the animation in no, that, that one. Scene, that scene's fun. It's got a really nice a really nice piece of music behind it. And it you know it's, Hal Hal just rips his heart. Out. <laughs> he just he just rips his heart out. You know, it's like Temple of Doom. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, gosh, my favorite scene. But is runner up staircase. <laughs> The staircase scene is funny. I'll give it that. It it's is really funny. <laughs> but man, dang bro, they had the they had the whole recently logged uh, cast laughing. They did. They really <laughs> did. Uh, so I don't know. This movie. This movie flows so much into each other. It's hard to just be like, ah, yes, this. Scene. Ah, yes, the scene. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of like. Do you a want scene? Do you want Do you want it to be written more like a an Aaron Sorkin movie or something where it's just (laughs) a scene, a scene. (laughs) And then scene is done. (laughs) Scene is done. Uh, well, anyway, let me think of a scene. What are, what are some good scenes? Um, I'm trying to think. Shoot. Cause like everything's just running together. There's the stuff in the castle. That's pretty cool. Uh, Not the castle, not Hal's moving castle, but the, uh, castle castle. Um, but, uh, (laughs) <laughs> scenes. I mean, there's the opening scene. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's that scenes pretty. Yeah, you know, I think I actually, as much as that sounds like a like a ripoff, I always really like the introduction of how. That yeah, um, that is a good scene. So actually. I think I'll go with that because like I re- I don't know that that chunk of the movie is actually probably some of my favorite stuff like in the entire thing. That's and some, it's some of the most interesting parts of it. It's peak hell fashion. Peak hell fashion. Is that the only reason? No. <laughs> Peak Hal fashion. Uh, um, yeah, I would say that's probably probably my favorite. Man Crush Monday and Micah's Choosing Hal. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean... Like, I mean... Uh, if we have to choose wow. an anime character... To have, a, to have a man crush. Bro, on. I thought he had a soul patch there for a second. Oh my gosh! See, Mike, look, look at look at this! Look at the downgrade, though. <laughs> he went from absolute Chad to absolute like saltine cracker. Like, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> the downgrade of a cen- of the century. <laughs> look at this kid. He looks like such a such a kid. Wow! What happened to your emo status? 
Um, but anyway, Micah, we've gotten so sidetracked this entire You're supposed episode. to be asking a question. No, I already asked no, a question. And then I asked a question, we both answered, so oh, now it's your oh, turn. Okay. I didn't realize we were taking turns, yes, Micah. Yes, we always take turns. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, I wish I would have been ready. I wasn't preparing <laughs> anything. Um... Gosh dang it, bro. Um... I'll find I have one if you Oh, don't. well, then shoot, do yours. What do you think of, the like, the plot of the movie? The actual like plot. Like, the actual storyline. With the Sophie, war. Sophie getting turned old, working for Howl, war, Prince being turnip head. I think it's one of the absolute weirdest plots I've ever <laughs> seen in the movie. Well, I think it's one of the absolute weirdest plots I've ever seen. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just need to watch more weird movies. But that, it, I, I don't know. It's really strange. See, I would, I would say I think the plot has a lot of, like, like, not that I think it's inherently bad, but I think it's a lot of the problem of the movie. Because nothing really happens in the plot. Yeah, like, the entire second act, like, what's even happening? There's nothing happening. Like, it's just Howl being like, I don't want to go. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to go. (laughs) Meh. And Sophie's like, man, Howl sure is annoying. Clean. clean, Man, (laughs) Howl sure is annoying. (laughs) Micah, I made a hilarious joke, but you were asleep, so you didn't hear it. Dang it. What was the hilarious Um, joke? I said, uh... (laughs) That witch turned me into an old woman. Well, I got better. <laughs> well, I got better. <laughs> it's a, a newt. A newt. Well, I got better. Well, I got better. <laughs> That's pretty good. I um, la- like. I thought it was really funny, and then I I looked over and you were asleep. I'm like, oh, dang, you're missing out on peak comedy. Right well, sorry. Now. I was also like, also I was at a disadvantage watching this. Yeah, movie you were laying because down. I was laying down in the place where I've been sleeping for the past like week instinctively your body was like time to die (laughs) (laughs) um yeah i don't know i think the plot has just like because the plot it does have a lot of fat does it make a lot a lot of sense (laughs) like 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 yeah it makes sense but like it's random and then you take a completely (laughs) random doesn't really make sense and then you make it unfocused yeah. And you get the very slow feeling of the movie. It it has a very slow meandery feel. And I think that is my biggest problem with the movie probably oh, is that's just the my plot in general. Cuz like I enjoy the characters, I enjoy like uh like most of it and then like the plot it's just it's just it it's so loose. Like th- what happens? Nothing happens. Like yeah, like really if you think about it nothing really like 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 the war they they find the prince at the end and the war is over but like that's the only thing that happens at the end like how gets his heart back like how yeah it's there's two there's two plots going on during the movie yeah there's the the how plot and the war plot (laughs) and or or the how slash sophie plot if you want to be yeah i was about to say because sophie's the main character yeah but but how's really really steals the show (laughs) wow (laughs) um anyway sophie's moving castle (laughs) so like really how like how and sophie's is the a plot and the war would be the b plot yeah the war is on there for like two inches of screen time (laughs) (laughs) um but like the war seems like it should be a really big thing like Like, it seems like it should be like something that's driving the plot like yeah like at one point Hal goes out like goes out and out and flies around and sees that like (laughs) like just everything is burning like (laughs) he just flies around you know (laughs) like, 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 like think about the plot of this movie like the prince randomly and unexplained, like unexplained, turned into Scarecrow Turnip Head Boy, and, and no one knows where he is, and nobody knows why. And now, like, it seems like there's tons of destruction, a lot of people dying for no like real good reason. <laughs> Every like literally everyone you see it calls it a dumb war. Yeah, like everybody's like this war is so dumb. Why? Why, why is it happening? <laughs> and like I don't know, it's a lot of like. The, so the war the war B plot is very unsatisfying because it doesn't drive yeah, the plot no. and it doesn't make much sense uh, and then the, and then the a plot is uh, is like a rom-com but with a heart missing 
Like yeah. it's like it's like shenanigans. <laughs> Whoa! Mixed with calcifers eating some eggshells. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! She's old and can't tell anybody She's why. She's old but can't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels like Hal shenanigans, but him being emo at the same time and probably going to turn into bird creature forever. And then Sophie's Yeah, like, what's up with that? <laughs> like, like, I feel like that should be more of a thing, too. And they bring it up, like, twice. Right, like, everything, everything that seems like it should be a major thing in this movie isn't. And then, like, they're, like, Hal's heart, which, I mean, like, Hal's heart is supposed to be the, 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 technically speaking, it's supposed to be, like, the thing of the movie. The MacGuffin of the movie. Is Hal getting his heart back. Oh, no, not the MacGuffin. Hal, Hal getting his... No one else is trying to get it except for, uh, the Witch of... Yeah, the Witch of the... The the Waste. The the Waste. Waste. (laughs) Witch of... Waste? I thought... West? I thought you said... We... Oh, East. I thought you said Weast. What <laughs> sort of compass are you reading there, boy? <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, like, the whole story revolves around uh, Hal getting his heart back and Sophie and Hal falling in love. Yes. But yet it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's in, in theory, like, as a book... Which books don't have to be oh, yeah. nearly this as narratively work a lot tight better as movies. As a book because be- ju- just because they have a quote unquote longer runtime, they you have will. M- they have more. Yeah, they have a bunch leeway more, yeah. to explain. Like 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 take <laughs> Harry Potter for example. Since we've been talking about those movies yeah. on the podcast, you could say um, we've talked about a couple. You of go Harry you go to like the first <laughs> Harry Potter movie, and if you think about the ghosts, if you've read the first <laughs> Harry Potter book, the ghosts take up a lot. Of the book, I mean, that, not a lot. Like no, lot. but Maybe like there's, there's chapters, chapters yeah. dedicated to them. There's a there's time, like a lot of time <laughs> dedicated to the ghosts. And that then, would, it would not work, and it well. wouldn't work. And in, in the movie, because the movie, it, it, the movie is a much. Uh, it has to be much tighter. Yeah, it has to be tighter. It has to be. <laughs> otherwise, it's boring. Like, the book could not be... Like, you can read this and, like, oh, that's very... Like, like Redwall can spend... I mean, this is very... <laughs> can nobody's, spend nobody's three gonna chapters get this. describing the feast. Yeah, yeah Redwall <laughs> can spend three chapters describing the different ways and different kinds of food they're preparing for the feast. It's <laughs> the dumbest thing. And, and nobody cares. But if you put that into, a, like, a movie, everybody... Like, okay. It would be so boring. You'd be like, why are we still talking about about food why are we still talking about the different ways to prepare beets <laughs> when nothing about this the story is really about food yeah um but yeah like i said it be, it's based off of a book and books i feel like in general have a lot more leeway in its like general structure yeah um uh, mainly because books are a lot more character central most of the time so yeah you have it you have it balancing like romance drama heart boy stuff um and also how turning into a bird forever <laughs> turning into a bird for <laughs> and um a giant bird a war going on indeed <laughs> and the wicked witch of the east or something or west or something <laughs> the weast <laughs> the wicked witch of the weast uh <laughs> wow is also doing things the hardcore the hardcore book fans are gonna come after us like <laughs> no so so like it just like from a writing like point it doesn't like standpoint for the movie it doesn't make much sense much like it doesn't make sense eight out of ten <laughs> my favorite ghibli movie no it's still really <laughs> good i'm just saying this is the problem with it wow uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's just, not my favorite it Ghibli. Seems it's like one of, because Spirited Away is better. Mm. There's no way you can mm. deny that Spirited Away <laughs> Spirited is Away is so... Go watch Spirited Away. <laughs> it's so freaking good. Um, Guys, go watch Spirited Away. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Do you have any other, do you have another question? Because that was my question. Um, I do have another question. Ooh. Compared to Miyazaki's other movies, how do you feel about the general direction in this movie? Like just from mm. like a direction standpoint from a direction standpoint how do you feel this movie stand stacks up um you know i think it's i think it's fine <laughs> fine <laughs> i don't know the direction is interesting <laughs> interesting like, i don't know cuz i think some of some of my least favorite like 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 i don't dislike really any of them besides maybe ponyo um <gasps> 
but like Kiki's <laughs> Delivery Service, Ponyo, and My Neighbor Totoro, like they all have, like they're all really good, I guess. <laughs> but like I don't know. They're good, I guess. I don't know if I would call the direction inherently better. But I, I don't know. That's an interesting question. Yeah, I just thought it was an interesting thing to bring up because I don't exactly have a solid stance on it either. I think his direction is definitely a lot more refined, if you will, and spirited away. Wait, what, when did, like, what was the order of, that these came out in? Because spirited away feels a heck of a lot more like uh, mature, if you will, like direction wise. Okay, let's go. Release release date order. So we had. Uh... Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Piro- Piroco Russo or whatever. Piroco Russo. But there's an R in there. Is there? Porco. Porco Russo. Because uh, he's a pig. <laughs> then Princess Mononoke, <laughs> then Spirited Away, then quite a bit later, Pal's Moving Castle, oh. then Ponyo. Ponyo so yeah, came spirit. out. Ponyo came out when I was like, when we were watching Disney Channel, yeah, bro. They was, advertised that thing like it crazy. It was 2008, yeah. Uh, and The Wind Rises is actually one of the most recent, 2013. Interesting. Wow. Well, there you go. That's odd. Yeah, it's I don't weird. Know. It's weird that House Moving Castle came out after Spirited Away. Because, like, I would, like, like, looking at things, I would expect Spirited Away to be one of his later movies because it just feels so together. Well, I don't know. It, it In Spirited Away, it feels a lot more untamed than it does later on that's true but it like it, but the script is so it, i don't know the script is a lot different for spirited away <laughs> yeah um but since howl's moving castle is a book adaptation i don't know i feel like it it serves itself more to kind of understated directing yeah no it, it it's a book so you can't like because of that like you can do a lot but like uh, like keeping it like similar to the book i suppose i don't yeah i was about to say it just feels like a you book you don't honestly. have you don't have as much like directory flair it's it's really odd actually this is one of the few like literary adaptations that i've seen that feels just like a book when you're watching it yeah uh <laughs> like this is the uh, there's a really like i wanted to talk about this one on the podcast because it's such an odd movie like i really it like really it is. but it's a very odd movie <laughs> Um, even even for Ghibli, it's an odd movie. <laughs> yeah, which Ghibli's put out some whack movies. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It's whack. Bro. Other questions? Other questions? Don't ask questions. Do 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 No. Learn my lesson. Way too long ago. Do 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 there you go. Well, that that's what we'll do instead the of talking about the line is out and <laughs> this is the album. <laughs> no, Mikey, you forgot about the hard cut into laughter. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. What if just what if no one had listened to that album? Like no one would know what we're talking. No one. About. <laughs> everybody <laughs> has everybody listened to that album. Like it was one of it's been one of the most popular albums for a while. One no. of the most popular pop albums in the past uh, decade, probably. Well, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have a question. What do you think right. of the fluctuating age looks of um, Sophie? I feel like. It was an interesting choice, and I feel like it works for the most part. Yeah, it's, like, interesting. Like, you go in, so so let's talk through it, So right? Okay. Um, she go starts in. out normal age. She's a teenage <laughs> girl, I think. No, she's not a teenager. I don't know. She's probably in, like, her mid-20s. I would, mid say, like, I would say, like, 18, 19. Whoa. I, what? I, would, say, I would still really? say I would still say teenage. No, see, I I, I gathered mid-20s, no, but I don't know. I would say, like, barely uh, adult. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, I don't know how I feel about so that. anyway, she starts there, and then she gets cursed. She becomes old, old lady. <laughs> old, old. It's not easy being old. It's, or something not, like the, that. it's not easy being old, me. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, then she gets. She's she's old, 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 old. Acting really old. Needs the cane. Goes all the way. Gets to Hell's Moving Castle. Is in there gets for a to while. Hell's Moving Castle. <laughs> <No. laughs> then then I think it changes like. Uh, she's she starts to act younger she's slightly less uh, wrinkly when she when she hits cleaning yeah when she starts cleaning she doesn't use the cane yeah after she wakes up um, and 
and she's, there's magic. Oh and when, but when Hal gets there, um, <laughs> that night after that, after she first is hired and meets him and eats mm-hmm. breakfast and everything, he looks through the curtain and she looks normal age again. I, I almost wonder if what they're implying, which they might explain this in the book, is if she Hal only sees through it or what? If she only uh, looks as old as she feels almost. Which is kind of how I felt. Yeah, which is kind of how I like, gathered, especially since towards the end. Like, yeah, as she, she, as she gets younger more, and younger. As she gets more, like, faith in herself, I guess, uh, she starts to look younger and younger and then just has herself but with gray hair exactly <laughs> that, that yeah i was like that it's kind of what i gathered is more like uh because her age fluctuates yeah so much throughout like age her looks appearance anyway. yeah her appearance fluctuates uh quite a bit throughout and that has to be an intentional choice because it's an animated movie yeah <laughs> and you they literally just, you can't just ha- have that they just be like oops <laughs> whoops i guess she looks younger but in this like scene. it's still it still was always interesting to me that like she looks completely normal when she's sleeping in that one shot. Like, we're just when he and comes in. And the second time she looks normal, it's because it's a dream. Yeah. And which which confused me the first time I watched it. I was like, wait a minute. It's a, oh, it's a dream. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a dream. Oh, oh I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I see where we're going. I see where we're going here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That one, that, that specific instance has always confused me. Yeah. Because, like... Is it? I think. I think maybe it's implying that Hal sees through it. Yeah, and that's why. That's well, why he I acts mean, the way she. He acts around her. Every every semi magical entity in this movie sees that she has a curse on her. Yeah, right. They're just like ah, oh, oh, cursed. Curse. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. It's a shame. <laughs> shame. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. You ever think about how Calcifer never. Did, went through with the with his side of the the, the bargain. What was it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Calcifer. Okay, should we talk about Calcifer, Micah? Sure, let's talk about Calcifer. He's, he's, what do we, what he's, we my, he's my favorite. <laughs> so he's the only reason I want so, I bear through that movie. <laughs> so he's 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 evil demon character. Yeah, takes, takes Hal's heart and holds on to it for him. <laughs> he just holds on to it. For him. <laughs> um. And then he he also holds on to the comic relief of the movie. <laughs> yes, yeah. he also holds the castle together. The oh mo- yeah, the moving castle. Oh, yeah. And then and then I and I then forgot at, about the movie cast. <laughs> and then at the end of the movie, <laughs> when he's set free because he's no longer holding on to Hal's heart, he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna come back because I'm bored. Because <laughs> I'm. Bored. And then he runs the the castle in the air. There you go. Because he's bored. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy money, I guess. Easy for money. How. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yeah. Easy money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Calcifer is one to me one of the most enjoyable things about this. Yeah, because he's actually like like I, I, I'm not gonna say he's actually an interesting character because he's cause actually I, interesting. Because I think the other characters are interesting, but he's actually, um, I don't know, fun to watch. Yeah. Because like. How, oh gosh, this movie would be so. How's interesting and interesting to watch, but like not inherently fun, if that makes sense. Like he's interesting. I really like his I character. Get, I would get very, very bored. Very, very. But yeah, Calcifer needs to be here, even just to not. Like usually, I'm kind of against the idea of just someone there for comic relief. But he's he's a he, he is story relevant. I mean, he does serve a narrative purpose, and uh, he talks to Hal. I always want to say Hal, and it's not Hal, owl. it's Howl. Howl. <laughs> howl. It's, uh, just say Owl with a H. Howl. Howl. <laughs> howl. Howl. Howl's moving castle. You're going to name your kid Howl. Howl. No, it's going to be and, H. Owl. And then they're going to be like, they're going to be like, Dad, why am I named Howl? Howl. And he's going to be like, well, let me show you Let me movie. show you about this podcast I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> or no, that I'm still doing, like a, you gonna, I hope not. <laughs> You're gonna be doing it by the time you have kids, Ruby. I hope not. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. Maybe 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 we'll, maybe we'll be billionaires. Maybe by we'll then. monetize this yeah, and, get, and, and get the ads. It'll be the biggest like podcast in the world. Uh, we'll no. have we'll have movie directors on each episode. Um, <laughs> each episode. Each episode. There are only so many directors. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna talk about. We're the gonna beach. have indie directors like on there. We'll run gonna, out of all the directors. No, we're gonna talk about. We're gonna bring in whatever director we're doing movie wise. Wow. Well, 
There you go. We're gonna run, we'll out, run out of movies. We're we'll run out of movies. That's the real problem, dude. There, it, it blows my mind that there are so many movies that you literally could watch it, like just be constantly watching them, and you would still would never watch all of the movies in your lifetime. <laughs> Yep, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and and countless more hours (laughs) of of movie. Some bad, uh, some really bad. And some Some even worse. (laughs) worse. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's 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 the scale right there. Some bad. Some really bad, some and some even worse. Uh, do you have any more thoughts on on anything in particular for the I, movie? I don't know. Um, I say it's my least favorite Ghibli movie, and you know, I probably won't watch this on my like in my spare time. Dang. But I'm not like I I don't come away from it being like wow I just wasted two hours. I'm yeah. like yeah it's all right. It's enjoyable. Yeah. Like, like I, even if it's not like the best, like like I said, I don't think it's better than something like. Uh, even even something like My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's I think, is, is better put together. No, I think Kiki's the reverse. <laughs> um, but no, I don't think it's better. Than, I don't think it's better than something like My Neighbor Totoro or especially Spirited Away. But it's still like I don't know. I still find it very enjoyable to watch. Like I don't I don't hate it, and I don't come out of it being like I just wasted my time. But I probably I, I don't enjoy it enough or get enough out of it that I would turn it on without a, a prompting from someone. You know, it's not something I'd watch a lot. Well, yeah. Um, it's 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 a very be in the right mood movie. Like if you're if you're feeling like like either if you're doing something or if you're in like very like a very slow mood, uh, turn on this. Which speaking of slow. <laughs> The stair scene. Oh my god! We never talked about the stair. It's scene. so funny. I don't know why. Stair. Okay, so let's 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 discuss. Let's, uh, let's talk. Let's talk about that. Micah. Um. So the stair scene. They show up to the royal palace. It's, yeah. It's Sophie, dog boy. Um, <laughs> dog boy. Uh, who is who? Even oh right, he's the. Uh, he's what's her faces. Yeah, dog. yeah. I don't even remember um, her name. Like so, like the big, the big witch. The big witch. Um, and <laughs> Not that the big witch, the so. wicked witch of the weast. The weast. <laughs> um, we just don't remember what she's named anymore. No, like she's the, the witch of the wastes, but <laughs> she's the wicked witch of the weast. Um, anyway, they show up, and there's a lot of stairs, and the wicked witch of the weast. Uh, she has her little her little peoples, her slime peoples, carrying her, and she's fine. She's happy. Uh, but there's a spell put around the outside that no vehicles are allowed. No vehicles through. are allowed, but I, I, I guess they count as a vehicle. Yeah, they count as a vehicle. I mean, um, I guess. So then she has to walk up the stairs. So Sophie's really old and has to walk up the stairs. And the Wicked Witch of the Weast is even older and <laughs> blobby for some reason. Like, Bl- yeah, like, like ridiculously blobby. Like for not some- even inherently fat, but like <laughs> blob e. Like her, she actually blobs. Have you ever seen uh, the blob from Mar- from uh, Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't understand. Is that is that what she's called? I don't remember. What? No, it's a he. The blob. If he? you're talking about the blob. Oh right, that's X Men. Who am I thinking of? Uh, uh, I think her name's like Big Bertha. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was a Marvel character. I don't know. She's I'm a sorry, random, guys. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm a fake Marvel. Fan. Random comic book character that nobody knows about yes uh, anyway yeah <laughs> that um, nobody knows but anyway about. like i don't know i don't know so they're, they're going up the stairs and they're both like <laughs> dying trying to make it up the stairs i don't know why it's so funny to me and it's it's hilarious i feel like i feel like my sense of comedy has is just keeps getting dumber and dumber <laughs> it was like as i get older and more tired my <laughs> sense of comedy is getting dumber like I, I like i'll bring up something of like that's hilarious and i'm like wow that sounds really dumb when i say it out loud <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know any 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 closing thoughts though i don't know i i feel like i've said everything i really have to say about this movie yeah like i just i don't I don't hate it. I don't love it. I think it's mostly boring a lot of the time, but it's not like completely unenjoyable. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, th- <laughs> I would, I would, I would agree with a lot of that. I do. I do really like it. Um, but it's just not the most enjoyable thing in the world to this watch. This ain't it chief kind of thing. like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so torn with it. Cause it's such a weird experience that I'm like, wow, I really, enjoy- like, I really like this, but is it a, 
like a good experience overall. <laughs> it's like, it, is is this a good thing? <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand like how I feel towards the movie fully. It's like eating and, peanut butter on top of like a strawberry. <laughs> no, that would that would be good. What? No, the they sweetness would... of the strawberry no. mixed with the salty and nutty flavor okay, of well, the peanut butter. Maybe like sour cream on a strawberry. Okay, that would be gross. <laughs> Wait, would it? I don't know. I don't know what sour cream tastes like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, for, for context, such a, guys, I really hate sour cream, and I've never tried it. Never. Well, I mean, I have tried it in the past. I was obviously. about to say, how can you really hate it, but never have tried? I've tried it before. I hated it, but I've forgotten Put what it tastes your dang like. Quesadillas, Ruby. But uh, make yourself a dang quesadilla. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's it's such a weird experience. I don't know I don't know how to describe it. I would really say the only way to really describe how this movie is is to watch it. Cuz like it's so odd. Indeed. But yeah. I did, I'd say that's that's about it. Um do we want to go into what we watched? Uh I believe we do want to do that, Mike. It's, it's not as much as like it's been a long time Are we since just gonna, we did the last we're gonna episode. Do like a, we're going to do like a lightning round through these since we've watched um, uh, quite a bit. Yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, starting at the, the, the after the 5th? No, yeah, we uploaded on the 6th. So, oh uh, my I watched gosh. I watched uh the very next day after the 6th on um July 7th. I rewatched Some Like It Hot, sadly without Micah, because I know okay, yeah. I know he does like Some what Like happened? It Hot. What happened? I'm trying to. Was this was this the week of my show? Um, because there's no way I yeah, would have gone a yeah. week without watching any movies, which I did. <laughs> yeah, that was the week of your show. Okay, so I that was, was the last day actually. That was the last day of your Crunch Week. Okay, so I was doing a a, a play. <laughs> So that is my that is my reasoning for going so many days without watching a movie. I mean, I went a solid week without watching anything either. So from the fifth to the fourteenth, mine was so from depressing. the ninth to the fifteenth. So that's so depressing. But yeah, I watched some like a hot. It's really great. My favorite Billy. Well, maybe not my favorite Billy Wilder movie. There's a, I love all of. Oh yeah. Movies. Okay. Context. I would come home every <laughs> night to him watching movies that I really like. <laughs> He's just like, oh, watched this one tonight. And I'm like, what? I'm super tired. I've just come back from grinding in the theater. And I come back and he's like, yeah, I watched a movie you love without you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sunset Boulevard is probably my favorite. But no, but I really some love like Some Like It Hot. Some Like It Hot is better. Some Like It Hot is one of my favorite comedies. Some Like It Hot is better. It's so good. It's so good. Guys, go watch it. <laughs> objectively better. It's objectively <laughs> the better movie. That's like objectively funny. Um, when, when did you watch the next? When, what? I, I'm going to the 14th. Oh, wow. Friend. Shoot. Okay. And then I got three more. Or I guess two more. Um, I watched Rich and Strange for the first time. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie from 1931. I thought he was watching Young and Beautiful. I thought I was, <laughs> when I turned it on, I thought I was watching Young and Beautiful, and it turned out to be Rich and Strange, <laughs> just because I misclicked. <laughs> Amazing. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't very good. Um, you can tell it's very early Hitchcock. He hasn't really developed his style very much. I thought I looked down and it said 1831, and I was like, man, that really is, that really is early Hitchcock. Like, that really is early <laughs> Wow, that would be quite the feat. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, not very good. Check it out if you want to. Rich and Strange. It's about a guy. In a, but I uh, guess also it's about it's about a young married couple on a ship. But I guess also check out Young and Beautiful. And they both have an affair <laughs> with each other. <laughs> no, <laughs> he puts people. out an ad in the. <laughs> wow. And then the ship ends up sinking. And then they like pee in a collide. I don't know. It's it's a strange movie. Not not very good. Anyway. Um. And then I watched Ten Cloverfield Lane. Woot woot. Four and a half, baby. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a five star. It's movie. so good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's. You a guys, great. guys, if you have pretty, not watched, I'm pretty sure that's a five out of five, Robbie. If you have not watched Ten Cloverfield Lane, go watch Ten Cloverfield. Pretty sure it's a five out of five. It's one of my favorite sci-fi movies. But I'm pretty sure it's a five out of five. And Damien Chazelle. <laughs> And Damien Chazelle has a was in the writing room for two minutes, <laughs> got his credits in here, and Robbie's like, Damien, Damien Chazelle. Chazelle. What? No. Bro, did you did you read my review of Ten Cloverfield Lane from that one time? I think I did. It's, Guys, it go just follow says Damien Chazelle wrote this okay. or something. Uh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it, I, I just remembered what it was. Okay, it, follow me on Letterboxd for more amazing content. Oh my gosh. Here, here we go. Uh, this movie is crazy. So good, it's insane. 
Damien Chazelle helped write 10 Cloverfield Lane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well anyway, I'm the 14th since I can finally jump in. Wow. I watched The Farewell. The Farewell. Which is such a good movie. I, I watched, watched The Farewell. I watched it with a friend. Well, technically, oh, yeah. I didn't watch it with. Like, it was oh, with yeah, them, we but it was Florida. over. We, I, it was it was online that we watched it. Uh, yeah, but she had never seen it. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, did she, did she, she like really it? Liked it. I think she gave it five stars. I gave it five stars. I think we I talked mean, about it on the podcast. It's, <laughs> I gave it five. It's it's like oh, mm. it's so good. It's cinema. It's like peak cinema. Is that is that cinema right yes. there, Nick? Uh, what did you watch? What was the next thing? On the 15th. Oh, I got something technically before you, though. All right, then do it. Uh, and then I watched Big Fish with that same person Big the next day on the 15th. Yeah, you kept watching movies without me. I did. Well, you... <laughs> See, that was revenge, Mike. It was revenge. Wow. Um, <laughs> I want to rewatch Big uh, Fish, bro. Big Fish is such a fun time. I gave it four stars. Uh, it's it's a whack movie, for sure. <laughs> it's whack. But I think it's definitely my favorite Tim Burton movie. I don't think any of them really come close to being like as enjoyable as this one. <laughs> for me no edward scissorhands <laughs> it's a good movie but it doesn't edward come close to this my friend it does not come close I love to this edward scissorhands so much um <laughs> very emo yeah. choice but big fish is very good uh ewan mcgregor for the win i guess i guess then uh, later that very same night uh what did we watch revy we rewatched oceans 11 baby Heck yeah it was like three in the morning this was my this was my first <laughs> steven soderbergh movie I think. Did yeah. I watch Logan Lucky before no, no, this? No, you watched Ocean's no. Eleven first. Okay, this was my first Steven Soderbergh movie, and it is cinema. <laughs> it is. It's so good. It's so I gave good. it. I gave it. Um, I think also four. Yeah, I also gave it four yeah, stars. Four stars. Solid. It's not, it's very not solid. Four. Yeah. Don't don't like. It's not perfect, but no. like it is like there's something about the energy in this movie that mm. like you think about it and you're mm. just like. <laughs> I would have applauded in the theater after it finished. Like, I don't know. This, like, like even Logan Lucky, which I love Logan Lucky, doesn't have the same amount of energy as, as 10, I mean, not, well, uh, as Ocean's Eleven. Well, like, it, it that is post-Magic Mike Steven Soderbergh. Yeah. Kind of, kind of killed all of his energy. Wow. Uh, but yeah. Very next very day, good. Micah. Uh, on the 17th is the next whoa, thing whoa, I what? watched. Oh, I watched Despicable Me on the 16th. Oh, watched... oh right. I, I watched. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't watch. We did, we did an episode on it. Um, I didn't fully watch it because uh, uh, I watched SpongeBob with that very same friend. <laughs> so, wow. I did not wa- watch right, it. Yeah, so I, we, I rewatched it. Despicable Me. Jason Segal is the highlight of the movie. He um, is like go listen to our even, podcast episode. Don't even <laughs> joke. Jason Segal <laughs> is the highlight of of, of every movie. Of, no, just maybe of the, of the world. No, because <laughs> Amy Adams in the Muppets beats uh, him okay, out. Okay, ten to one. Um, yeah, Jason Segal. Yeah, go Despicable go listen to our episode about it. Yeah. Then on the 17th, 17. Uh, we watched yes. Cloudy with a Chance of Freaking Meatballs. I didn't log this one just because I missed uh, a good part of the beginning because um, I was in the shower, but you know. This is actually one of like my favorite casual animated movies. What do you mean casual? Like ones like that you just turn on <laughs> oh, anytime okay. kind of thing. Because like my favorite animated movies like Ratatouille, The Incredibles, Spirited Away, stuff like that. Are they too draining? Like I wouldn't turn them on all the time, draining. and they're not just like fun short experiences necessarily. <sighs> Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. But is Cloudy so with a Chance of Meatballs is so good. That's peak peak Lord and Miller. I give it is. four stars. Um, what? Really? Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think half. it's I don't think it quite hits four and a half. It's but so good. It's it's really good. Like, <laughs> like I I watched it when it came out. Obviously, I think we watched it in theaters. Um, and I liked it back then. Uh, and I liked it back then. And when I watched it again recently, like, I, I, I was like, it. I was like, oh, here we go. It's about to be awful. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is actually really Quite good. The chance of meatballs is good, actually. Uh, I don't know about that sequel though. <laughs> oh well, uh, well the sequel is a, is another another thing entirely. And what did we watch later that very same yeah. night? We watched Pure Cinema. As Pure well. Cinema, watched, also at like three in the morning. Yes, we stayed up so so late <laughs> to watch this movie. Uh, we uh, I, I guess it was a rewatch. Yeah, it was a rewatch. Yeah. We rewatched 
Mean Girls. Heck yeah. My, one of my favorite comedies. Uh, four and a half stars for four this thing. Four and a half, baby. It's so good. So good. <laughs> um, I don't even know, man. Like, this is just, it's hilarious. I don't it know really, what to tell you. It's such a funny movie. I, like... It's a wild time. It's so good. Um, it's like a surreal experience sometimes. You okay? If you haven't seen Mean Girls and you are old enough to yeah, see I was Mean Girls, say, <laughs> go watch Mean Girls. Either either uh, be an adult or have your parents consent. <laughs> yeah, um, th- yeah. I'm not necessarily uh, endorsing everything about any of the movies that I'm saying we watched, uh, yeah. but but Mean Girls is, is funny. It's a very funny, very well written comedy. Yeah, uh, go go watch it. <laughs> that ending though. <laughs> the ending. Uh, then. Uh, the also, opening shot for me. <laughs> then I watched. Um, that's that's uh, iconic as well. I that watched uh, R W B Y or Ruby Volume One, Ruby volume which one. technically is an anime. Anime. <laughs> but uh, I, I I gave it two and a half stars. Oof, uh, bro. It wasn't. Oh, it's that three D animated. Yeah, one, it was the three D animated. Three D anime. animated anime. It wasn't very good. It's by Rooster Teeth, so... Rooster Teeth. If you know much about them, I wasn't expecting too much. <laughs> I wasn't um, expecting much. But I think the major problem with it is that it just is so mediocre. Like, the writing is awful. Like, like plot structure-wise for a TV show, some of the worst structured TV shows stuff I've ever Naruto, watched. What about Naruto, Mike? No, Naruto is much better. <laughs> At least Naruto makes sense timeline-wise. Wow. Like, you get in, and you think it's you think it's going to be like a, like, like most like Harry Potter kind of situation where it just like follows a, a story at the school they're going to, mm-hmm. but then like they they get their first episode, second episode they get like sorted and like they do a test, they get put into their different teams, uh, and then they just skip ahead, and then they skip again. It it, it makes no sense. Uh, volume one is super short and just it it's so short that like it doesn't make any sense but also it's too long for the story they're telling like they don't do enough for it to be long and they should do more so yeah, it can be longer it's, kind it's, of thing it's hor- like i don't know why the writing is like that it's like awful writing but then like the characters like there's some cool character designs <laughs> but i think i think it's like it's based off of a manga you can't go wrong with character designs when you're based off of a manga. Well, you can go wrong. <laughs> um, wow. You can always go wrong. But like. the characters themselves are so boring. Like, each character is the most stereotypical character in the world, and they're just so boring. <laughs> wow. But it wasn't, like, awful, <laughs> like awful. Like a lightning round. <laughs> Rapid. <laughs> Which is why I give it two and a half. All right. <laughs> I said lightning round, Mike, is, like, three minutes later. Which is what, uh, which is what, yeah. Uh, anyway, what is the, what's the next date you watched something? Next thing. Okay, uh, 19th, on the 18th, baby. on the 18th, uh, I watched The Prestige. One of my favorite movies. Cinema. Uh, I think my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. Uh, I I would it's not my favorite, but yeah, well, I don't th- I don't like Inception as much as you do. <sighs> Micah, Inception as much as I hate to be the guy who's like, dude, Inception. Okay, is anyway, so the good. Prestige is amazing. <laughs> uh, love it so much. Love the magicy <laughs> stuff in it. Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman can lead a movie anytime. Yes. Um, I don't know. I love this movie. Five stars. Five stars. I love this movie. <laughs> I love this movie. Five stars. Nineteenth. Uh, Nineteenth. We watched. Rewatched, Re- we watched and rewatched. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monty Python and the and the Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Oh yeah. Baby. Oh yeah. My favorite Christian movie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, no I think I think we have the wrong ideas. <laughs> I watched two banger comedies right like back to back, baby. Yeah, I had I had an interesting <laughs> anime and a darn good drama in yeah, between. Yeah, a four and a half, baby. It's so good. Yeah, four and a half from Monty Python. It is pretty much um, a perfect satire. Of yeah, it's a great the, satire of the like nineteen fifties, sixties medieval. It's, media it's hilarious i still think <laughs> that one thing that just really disappoints me like i know it's like for the satire's sake it makes <laughs> a lot of sense yeah but the ending just always makes me sad watching it yeah it's always a little disappointing you're like yeah it's like funny but like and it makes a statement but it it's but you're kinda, like, it's still eh. kind of disappointing. you're like eh, there was no climactic like, it's the point but it's like still 
Okay, if you haven't seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail, go watch it. Like I think you, it's on Netflix. If right you now. haven't seen it, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Like, get off our podcast. <laughs> get off the podcast. Go watch it. Come back once you've actually grown taste for movies. <laughs> wow, dang! Shoot, dog. Um, like this is this is classic. This is an iconic movie. Iconic, dude. Okay. Twentieth. Uh, on the twentieth, I watched a horrible short film called hey, First Flight. It I wasn't gave it, that. I gave bad. it half star. I gave it two stars. And said it was the worst thing ever created because it was. It's not um, that bad, my god. Then on the twenty first, uh, uh, I watched. Did I, did I watch something before you? Uh, I mean, on the twenty first, I watched a movie. I don't know what you did. <laughs> oh, oh, I watched... Oh, wait, we watched them at the same time, just different things. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, uh, what, do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Uh, Say what you watched. I watched Clue. I rewatched Clue. Clue, and it was with that same friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to listen, get some more friends. Listen, Michael. they came out with the Prime <laughs> Watch Party, and there's a lot of movies on Prime that she hasn't seen, and I'm like, yeah. We're watching. We're watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sleepover and I get to pick the movie. <laughs> uh I give it four stars. It's a it's a good movie, but it's not like a great movie. Alright. Um I don't know. It, I think it's a, I think it would have been a lot better uh watching it like in person with somebody because like watching it just with the chat and everything, you kinda I don't know. You do Especially lose with a, with, a lot. with a comedy like that. I was Ugh. like, I bet she's judging this movie. <laughs> that would be like if if I watched Napoleon Dynamite with someone that wasn't in the room. Yeah, it's just <laughs> I'd a, be it's like, a, okay. it's a weird experience doing that. And then the movie is isn't perfect, so it just I don't know. It's 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 good though. It's really funny. Four stars. Four stars. All right, I watched that very same day. <laughs> Uh, rewatched f- from my young my young childhood the the, the, uh, r- the first Lego movie baby heck yeah it but l- not the one you think. <laughs> Lego the Adventures of Clutch Powers woot woot gave it one and a half stars bang um, a lot of the stuff in the, like this is a lot more dated than I thought it would be writing wise like the female character yikes <laughs> yeah uh, I didn't even <laughs> see a lot of the female character because I was watching Clue. But yikes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not very good. But for nostalgia, you know, it's not it's not awful. Clutch Powers is actually kind of fun to watch. Like, the actual character Clutch Powers. Um, but it, other than that, it's not, it doesn't yeah, have right, much Lightning offer. round. All right. Uh, after that, we watched uh, the, birds. the Birds for the first time. For the first time. It was, it was good. disappointing. What? Three stars. <laughs> no, <laughs> no like. It was a little underwhelming, yeah. But very disappointing. Three and a half. Very disappointing. Like, like extreme. Like, I can't understate how much this was a, a maybe, letdown for maybe, me. Maybe I had more, more, maybe I was more scared because I'm terrified of birds in real life. No, I wasn't scared <laughs> at all. I thought I was very annoyed. The movie almost gave me a headache. Uh, Dude, the bird sound effect is so annoying. <laughs> But it wasn't the worst thing ever made. Three stars. It All was right. still, like, decent. Dude. Then I watched okay. A Dolphin Tale 2. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> then I watched A Dolphin Tale 2. Um, the but, birds. But I was editing a, 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 a YouTube video, uh, my YouTube Whoa. channel. Uh, it was a it was a video that's out right now about Incredibles 2. You can go check it out. My YouTube yeah. channel is M. Grayway Films. It's linked in the podcast description. Uh, go check that out. I spent, like hours and hours working on that for hours and hours uh, and but hours. i watched a dolphin tale too while i edited it. wow <laughs> outstanding move because uh, my mom turned it on okay <laughs> i haven't even seen the you first haven't even dolphin seen the first tale. one yeah uh then what did we watch we watched okay oh so wait, wait wait what day is it the 23rd okay then i watched jurassic park wait oh my god <laughs> also while i get was get on edi- with it Mike. <laughs> also while i was editing it's an amazing movie five stars my uh, one of my favorite spielberg i think it is my favorite spielberg because i don't think catch me if you can can pass it wow but so good good good, good movie cinema all right Moving uh on. marion's boyfriend was still in town they don't even know who marion is you're just like no marion was she boyfriend. was on the podcast before okay the diehard fans know okay, okay the diehard fans know but you're just out on of the note. E- okay you're just out of note marion's boyfriend if you go listen to the igor episode she's on there um yeah we play igor's the <laughs> no we don't <laughs> uh we we watched napoleon dynamite with him because he had never seen it and it is once again one of my like i it's probably my favorite comedy it's very good speed round remy uh after that we watched clueless 
Wait, no. I, we didn't what? say our ratings. Four and a half. Oh, four and a half, yeah. Very good. Hilarious. Yeah. We Classic. watched we watched Clueless for Clueless the first for time. The first time. It was very good, not as good as I was hoping it would be. Oh. Um I don't know. <laughs> the story just felt a little lacking for me and the characters I felt weren't super flushed out. Ouch. But still very good. Four Paul, stars. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Interesting time. <laughs> they, it still kinda is weird that she's like seventeen, he's <laughs> Like twenty probably. Um. After that, uh, we watched Citrus. Nope. Not after that. Yes. No. Yes. No. After that, I watched Invisible Sister. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Invisible Sister, uh, Disney movie, kind of, kind of bad, but like Disney Channel nostalgia, uh, but still two stars. <laughs> oh, wow. Then after that, Micah. Sure. Then after that, we watched Citrus, which me and Micah co-directed question mark no, i guess micah directed no, it. i directed it to read the credit <laughs> read the credits i don't remember <laughs> you were just cinematographer all right sometimes cinematography feels like directing <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway yeah go watch that it's not very it's, it's not it's not the greatest I think but it's, pretty it, good. it's it's it was fun to work on i really enjoyed it, it has some of my best cinematography <laughs> I, I dare say uh then we watched matinee for the first yeah. time which man that yeah. was surprisingly really good it's really good 1993 maybe. it was really fun i gave it a four and a half um and in movie we watched man <laughs> Mant. Which is the birth of cinema. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um, Mant is like top tier. I didn't rate it because it was the short film inside of the film. <laughs> I can't believe they had it on Letterboxd. It's so good. <laughs> Guys, go watch Matinee. Uh, then we watched Trolls World Tour, uh, which I thought was pretty bad. Yeah, this was the first time first time watch. It was it was kind of trash. It wasn't um, that bad. It wasn't it was, as bad as I thought it was going it was, to be. It was it was as bad as I thought it I was. I gave it two be. stars. The characters didn't make sense. The story didn't make sense. Uh, the music felt like it was just there to be music. The and, first one's better. <laughs> and make the kids look at the bright colors and music. The message was really heavy-handed and didn't feel like it worked quite as well as I think it thought it did. Um, one and a half stars. Yeah, I mean, you were only off of my rating by a half star, so I guess I can't really argue that much. And then we watched Tiny Diamond Goes Back to no, School. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I didn't log it because it's too bad. Tiny Diamond Goes Back to School. It's too horrible. It was a uh, short. It's too horrible. After the movie. And it's uh, it's actually pretty good. No. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll stick no. my neck out for that. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Then what did we watch? Well, just mere mere hour a mere hour ago, we watched Howl's Moving Castle. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. And that we, that took way too long. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's... I hope if if you're popping in on our podcast for the first time, I hope you just skipped over that. <laughs> yeah, and besides, it's been a long time since we've done uh like a like a thing, so that's why we had so many. Yeah. Um. But anyway, uh. Go watch Matinee, because it's very good. Yeah, watch Matinee. <laughs> um, and go watch Howl's Moving Castle, cause, uh, yeah. so you can have your own opinion on it. I don't like it very much. Micah likes it a lot. Um, and uh, Wait, What don't you like very much? Howl's Moving Castle. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did you not hear a word I said, Micah? Did, I was tuning you out. Ouch. I was this looking, I was this looking... is sad times. You're looking for... A, are you looking for a quote? Looking for a quote. A quote, Micah? Oh, <laughs> just say it's not easy being old. <laughs> that would be good. It's, it's not, not easy being, being old. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Bye. They'll never know which one of us was which. Exactly. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> um... <laughs>